Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back. And if you are new, thank you so much for clicking on this video today. It really means a lot to us. I'm Lydia and this is Vintage Nectarines. So if you guys have been following the channel for a while, you know that my dear sweet friend Amber of The Most Magical Five and I do collabs and stuff together all the time. Well, last December, we decided to do the December Daily Junk Journal Challenge, and we both had so much fun. Um, we were so excited about it, in fact, that we actually ended up creating and sending each other um, advent swap packages that were junk journal um, swap packages so that we could create a December Daily and Christmas junk journal with all of the supplies that we sent each other. Um, fall is coming, which is so exciting. Um, and so we decided this year, we also wanted to do a fall edition of our junk journal challenge. Um, so this is the information about the junk journal fall edition. Um, her and I are both going to be doing our junk journals in September and October. Um, and we will possibly be doing videos here and she might also possibly be doing videos on Instagram or Reels of some of the junk journaling prompts. But we sat down and we came up with 13 prompts that we're going to be mm -hmm. to create our junk journals. Um, so I quickly just wanted to go over what those were in case you were wanting to also join us to do your fall junk journal. Um, they will also be listed down below and Amber's channel will also be linked below so that you can keep up to date with any of the junk journaling things that she is going to be doing. But anyway, so the 13 prompts that we came up with are pumpkin patch, caramel, trick or treat, art journal, costume movie night, which I'm super excited about that one because it also goes along with something else we're doing in October. Decorations, candy wrapper, leaves, fall quote, fabric, moon, and vintage. So basically we just take these prompts and use them to kind of guide us in how we're going to create um, either a piece of ephemera or an actual page for our junk journal. Um, and so if it's pumpkin patch, you could um, cut out pumpkins or you could simply just put a picture of you going to the pumpkin patch. Um, so things like that. Um, caramel could be caramel coffee or um, pumpkin donuts or caramel with apples. So it really could be anything that kind of inspires you to create something that kind of goes along with that theme. So. In today's video, I wanted to go ahead and show you the junk journal that I will be using. I have already created it, um, so I'm just going to give you a little bit of a flip through. Um, but we will be flipping through this junk journal that I actually created last year um, and just never got around to filling. So I'm going to be using the 13 prompts that we came up with to fill it this year. So stick around for my little flip through. Um, and I will be back at the end to chat really briefly um, about how you can participate. Okay, so I'm going to show my junk journal to you guys. I found this beautiful old green book at our thrift store um, and I just added some Halloween fall details to the front um, and I put this really fun star fabric on the edge um, and then I just kind of liked the green so I just left it just tied everything together with this brown string. So let's open her on up. But over here I have this pocket um, and inside of it I actually have a letter that Amber gave me um, last year because a lot of the things in this journal are items that she sent me in a um, junk journal swap that we did. Um, so I just have that in there. Um, and like I said, most of these pages are just blank right now because I'm going to be filling them in with prompts. So over here we have October. Um, so we have this really pretty like blue metallic and this really pretty um, kind of bronze colored paper. On the back of the bronze paper, I have this cute little pocket um, with this fun little polka dot paper. So I can put something there. Star paper, um, some orange and black, just with this cute little tag down here. Um, this beautiful black and white gingham. Um, I also have this picture 
that is actually of my family on um, their farm a long time ago, but I just love it because it's vintage and it looks very like almost haunted mansion like. Um, so I'll probably put that here and make it into a pocket. Um, on this page, I also have a little pocket um, with this cute little drugstore thing. So some of these things may not stay in here. I may use them um, for other things. I don't know. Um, I also have this pocket with this cute little um, book that I made to journal in. Um, I have another pocket over here with a cute little like postcard house thing that I can use um, as another journaling spot. More of that polka dot paper. Um, this page is this really cool like telegram thing that's a flip down um, and I stamped a little spider on him. And that fun green paper with this cute little element here that actually attaches to this fun um, gypsy fortune teller like bookmark thing. Pumpkin paper and this really fun jeweled tab. Just some more spots for journaling. Um, this cute card that says I love you and has just this tiny little pocket up here. Um, some black paper. An eye, the all seeing eye. Um, this little saying that says fall is my favorite. Some more fun black and white paper. Um, this little book page that says 13 on it and poison and you open it up and it has all of these 13 things. So I put 13 down here and 13 and palmistry. So just fun little 13 things. And then this little star, some more postcard paper. Um, this cute little flip out pocket that will be great for journaling. Um, this little center section where I stamped on a tree. And then in the middle here, I actually created this other little like miniature book. Um, and so I have this cute little pocket, um, some skull paper, some chapters from Harry Potter, um, the death day party and chapter 10, the rogue bludgeoner. So yeah, just some fun things. And then I also have Peter Peter Pumpkin Eater um, and a cute little pocket that has a little orange bookmark. I love this illustration. Um, and then just another cute little piece of paper here. More Harry Potter pages, cute little pocket. And then another cute little here. So, and then the back of this bag is also open. Um, and I just thought that would be kind of a fun little thing to put some other little things in. Um, partly because we love watching Harry Potter in the fall. My daughter yeah. Jillian's birthday is actually in October and Harry Potter is her absolute favorite. So I figured I will probably put some special Jillian memories in there with all of my Harry Potter stuff. I also have this cute little pocket um, with this sweet little tag um, and I stamped a boo down here. Both of these things came from Amber in that swap. Um, another little flip down area. Then we have this fun little flip up. Um, I can probably put like a picture or something here and then another tuck spot with this really cute like skeleton bookmark which I could actually use um, when I am doing all of my fall reading. And then we're kind of just going back. So I added this fun little um, kind of slate blue metallic stone. Um, I have this really fun flip out. So it actually flips out like this and each one of these little things is a pocket and I fill them with all of these cute little things. So I have the Gypsy Fortune Teller card, um, Druggist and Apothecary, a letter. Um, so some of these things I will maybe use to create my prompts with, um, or I might just leave them in here. Um, I don't really know. And then down here I have this uh, Halloween pumpkin card. So I just think that's really 
really cute. Um, another cute little pocket with some pumpkin paper. A witch stamp that I put on there. Um, some more fun little green jewels. Just this little thing that says welcome to the pumpkin patch with some fun little strips of paper. Um, if I want to use those later for prompts, I can. Um, another fun little pocket that has this little orange button and on the inside is orange. Then <laughs> this one actually makes me laugh. So this is a really cute little cup of coffee, um, but on the back it says, you're the pumpkin spice to my latte. And I stuck it in this fun little pocket I have and it says poison because I don't like pumpkin spice lattes. I know lots of you are screaming at me because you're like, are you serious? I just don't. So I think it's kind of funny that I said it was poisoned. And then another fun little pocket where I put this bug and this little flip out thing um, that I can also journal in. So have that. A gourd. This beautiful Sanderson Sisters card that came from Amber um, that I have turned into a pocket. And then down here I have um, a witch hazel sticker and that beautiful star paper again. Back here I have happy fright night. And then of course we have the number 31 and happy Halloween back here. And then I have also added this cute little flip out card that Amber gave me. Um, and this is actually the la the very first leaf I found last year for the beginning of fall and I just loved how it was kind of green on the outside and orange in the middle. So I've kept that and I will also be finding this year's um, just to kind of have in there. So that is the journal I will be using for my um, fall junk journal prompt. It was wonderful showing you what I'm going to be working on and I am so excited to get into it. So if you are intrigued or at all excited to do a fall junk journal and would like to participate with Amber and I, like I mentioned, the prompts are all listed below and there is a hashtag for this, which is hashtag fall junk journal along. Um, if you're doing it on Instagram, please tag us. Both of our channels are linked um, below. And if you are a YouTuber and you do it as well, please also let us know that you've done it because we would love to go and watch your videos. I think our friend Lindsay from Oodle Lolly Disney Crafts and Fun may be participating with us as well. Um, so I can't wait to see what she does if she joins in. So thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I really appreciate you being here. If you liked this video, please give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button so you can be notified anytime we have new content on this channel. I am really looking forward to all of the things coming up in the next couple of months on this channel. Thank you so much and I will see you very soon.